So we're looking for monarch caterpillars, something I did when I was a kid. It was fun to do as a grown-up. And so far, we haven't found any, but here's a, here's a tussock right here. They're, they're a neat little, neat little caterpillar. What do they look like when they come out? When they uh, change? It's a moth, I think. Oh, it's a moth? Hmm. Oh, right there. Where? Hang on, let me get a picture of him. Right there's the caterpillar. We just you found a, a monarch right oh, here. Oh, wow, it's right there. Yeah. We got ourselves a monarch. Woohoo! First one. We did see some poop with this guy. Hey, little buddy. We're going to take great care of you. Ava's going to take care of this one. Do you have anything to cut with? No. I have shears and a car. So this is our butterfly cage. This is where the magic happens in there. I took the two um, chrysalises off from the top mm -hmm. and have them in a little nest. Where is that? Yeah. He is like, where is he? Okay, there he is. This guy is just chowing like hard. He's like, I just want to eat. Come on. Ah, look at him, his head go back and forth. Wow. Hmm? So we have two caterpillars now. I want to find an egg. Or a little That'd baby one. Awesome. Well, how, what does the egg look like? It's very tiny. It's white. It's tiny and white? Kind of oval shaped. It has some texture to it. It's okay. very small. You could fit it in the needle head. Oh, that's going to be kind of hard to find. I know. The, cat, the whole monarch life cycle is amazing because when the um, butterfly lays an egg, lays it right on the milkweed leaves, and so that when the caterpillar comes out, it has food right there. Everything it needs is right where it begins life. Yeah, and then it finds its way to Mexico. <laughs> I mean, it flies all the way on the whole take them to Mexico, and then they come back. They know exactly where to go. It's, it's amazing. All milky monarch caterpillars, butterfly life cycle is absolutely fascinating. I love everything about milkweed. Collecting children with that process is so amazing too. It's not like an ownership thing, like we just want to keep these caterpillars, but can just help kids bond with nature, and you can't bring them out into the field and have them watch it, so... This was something that I loved doing as a kid and remember well, and... So what did you do with the caterpillars? The same exact thing that you're doing. You had them in the computer? Yeah. Yep, we would bring them home and we'd do, oh my gosh, I did that every year with my neighbors and all the kids in the neighborhood and a bunch of us. I did that for every year as a kid.
Those are those, uh, what do you call that? Cicadas? Yeah, that's that sound. No, that's the sound of the cicada. Yeah.